just ordinary people from all parts of the world choose to come together and recognize something in themselves that's inherently stable, open, connected and shared with every other person. A basic fundamental experience that we can all prove and evidence in our own experience right now. It's called open intelligence in the Balanced View Training and if we just stop thinking for a moment and notice an alertness the power to know, the power to perceive every experience that's our open intelligence, it's your open intelligence, it's my open intelligence, it's everybody's open intelligence yes <laughs> fundamental Wherever we go, whatever we're doing, whatever happens, whether we're asleep or we're awake, the power to perceive, this vast intelligence is always present. We can test that out in every single moment of our life. And that's what short moments of open intelligence are. It's our mobile experiment, mobile testing kit. Test it out. See if open intelligence is there for you. And in that, recognize this just immense force of intelligence that we are, that runs everything, inseparable from reality, is reality. We can't remove any experience that we perceive from this intelligence. And in the Balance View training, we call all of our experiences our thoughts, emotions, data, just to keep it very simple. And data and open intelligence are completely inseparable. Like the colour blue in the sky. And really, as a human society, as I can speak from my personal experience here, we've just learned to, I just learned to emphasise the data streams. I didn't know about open intelligence. I didn't know there was something that contained, subsumed and held all of my experience and that I could rely on that. <coughs> so I instead was relying on the changing data streams and had learned many ideas about what my life should look like, what it is to be a happy, successful, person, person that was living with well-being and achieving the things I was meant to achieve. It's just what I'd learnt. And I did the best that I could with what I knew. And so that meant being very vigilant, <laughs> watching my experience, wanting things to work out a certain way, wanting the best possible relationships, dearly wanting to connect and understand people and for people to love me and like me. So a lot of my life was spent cultivating those situations, getting the right responses from the right people. A lot of time and energy. Because really I thought if, those, if that data wasn't present, then there's something wrong. Because if other data come in, like the thought somebody doesn't like me or something is wrong, then I've got to do something about that. So a lot of my life energy spent and focused on maintaining and avoiding and replacing negative data, just keeping things well all the time, wanting things to be the best they could be. And just in thinking that's totally normal, because it is totally normal in when, until we know about open intelligence, until I was invited to just let everything be as it is to prioritise this openness, this stability, something about me that is always reliable, always supportive. And then start to prioritise that as my stability rather than the changing display of experience. And the freedom that provides to be in the world, the connection that provides with other people, with everybody 
to get to know myself from that vantage and see that really I, exper I can experience and do experience everything so completely human. And that we naturally, instinctively understand each other when we rely on open intelligence by relying on our data streams and opinions and judgments and trying to line those up, make them match. It's a never ending ordeal. So we settle into open intelligence, see that there's instinctive, powerful understanding right there. And that's what the Balanced View training offers us, a training for us to warm that capacity up in ourselves, anybody, anybody, anywhere. The four mainstays of balanced few, short moments of open intelligence, this instantaneous <laughs> self-empowerment that we can choose in any moment. Check in with open intelligence. Recognize the, this powerful, equal, vast intelligence, which welcomes everything in. No experience excluded, no body excluded. Everything welcome in reality, as it is. And then we have trainings where we come together and evoke and elicit this instinctive recognition for ourselves and share and hear other people speak about their experience of this. We gain assurance and confidence. And then we have a trainer, somebody who can support us completely. We can be in touch with and let them know about everything that is happening for us. Let them get to know ourselves completely there in that relationship too. And then we have community. All of you. <laughs> and we see it in action, everyday, ordinary action. <coughs> ordinary human beings around the world claiming their own empowerment. Not waiting for somebody else, for a higher force or somebody somewhere in the future, a hero or a leader or God or something removed outside of ourselves to bring our empowerment and save the day or see that all is well and give us our answers, but us, ourselves, our own open intelligence. See that it's in us, this capacity. And that we can come together and just have the best life and share that with everybody. I can see for myself I had so many um, subtle and not so subtle ideas about not deserving the best through my life. That somehow I'm meant to, that just settling for uh, this disempowerment and diminishment of myself, like putting myself down. And coming in to know myself as open intelligence and seeing that that it's just not the case, and we all deserve the very best, everybody, everywhere. The best relating, complete respect and dignity, understanding. And we get that in open intelligence, and we see that in this community being demonstrated every day. And that's a precious, precious thing for ourselves to experience and the world. So thank you, everybody. And the only thing we really, we can do is take responsibility for all of our own data. And for myself, I can see in that is the greatest care and the greatest skillful, skillfulness to care and to be available for anybody in my life. Because when I get out of the way of myself, all there is is total openness and availability and seeing how I can best be of support. And... Um, and we can't take responsibility for somebody else's data. But we just take the support of the four mainstays to shore ourselves up in open intelligence again and again. <laughs>